Grade 7 math number 12.1a probability describing events and likelihood of events. Each time we roll dice, it's called an event. And we can find the likelihood of an event with one die, the chances of rolling a number out of six rolls. Well, there's six numbers, there's six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in six rolls, the chance of us rolling less than seven would be every roll, because every roll would be less than seven. The chance of rolling an 8 would be none because there's no way to roll an 8 if it only goes up to 6, right? That would be a 0 chance. The chance of rolling a number greater than 4, that would be a 5 or a 6, that would be 2 out of 6 chances because there's 2 of these numbers out of the 6 numbers. So it would be 2 6 or 1 third of a chance, right? Chance of rolling a 5, we'd have 1 chance, 1 out of 6 because there's 1 5 on that dice, on that die. The chance of rolling something other than a 6? Well, there's a 1, 2, 3, or 5, so there'd be 5 out of 6 chances of doing that, or a 5, 6 chance. How about the chance that it's an even number, a 2, 4, or 6? Well, that would be 3 of the numbers on the die, so that's 3 out of 6, or 3, 6. The chance of it being less than a 5? Then it would be a 1, 2, 3, or 4? There's 4 numbers, so it'd be 4 out of 6 chance. The chance that it's odd, that it's a 1, 3, or 5, would be out of 3 out of 6 chance, because that's 3 numbers out of the 6 possible ones. And the chance for it to be divisible by 3, then it would have to be a 3 or a 6, that would be a 2 out of 6 chance, or 2 6, or 1 third, right? Well, an experiment is an activity involving chance, and the results are observed. Each observation of an experiment is a trial, and each result is an outcome. You ever hear of medical trials where someone uh, has medicine tried on them and then they watch to see if it works because it's not on the market yet? That's the same thing. A set of one or more outcomes is an event. So if you do several trials and outcomes, then it would be an event. The probability of an event written as P and then event in parentheses, that means probability of an event, it measures the likelihood that the event will happen. Probability is a measure between 0 and 1 and can be written as a fraction, decimal, or percent. So on a scale of 0 to 1, 0 is it's impossible for it to happen. If we have one die with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we can't roll an 8. That would be impossible. There's not even an 8 on there, right? And if it's certain to happen, it's a 1. So it's almost like that's 100% and that's 0% and that's 50. But they use 0 to 1 and that's half for 50-50. Okay? And then likely is in between here. Un I mean, sorry, unlikely is in between here and likely is between here. See? So from 0 to 1, what is the probability of pulling a red marble from a bag of 30 blue marbles and there's only one red one? Well, it's very unlikely, but it could happen. You could get lucky. You've got a 1 out of 31 chance. If there's 30 blue and 1 red, there's 31 marbles. And if you're doing one pull, you've got 1 out of 31 chance. See? So it's very unlikely, but it could happen. All right? How about pulling a blue marble out of this bag of 30 blue marbles and 1 red one? Well, that's likely. That's almost certain. We have a 30 out of 31 chance of pulling a blue marble out, don't we? Because they're mostly blue. How about if we pull a red marble from a bag of 16 blue and 15 red? Well, it's equally likely as not likely because there's almost an even amount of colors. It could go either way. You have a 15 out of 31 chance. That's about half, isn't it? So each time we pull out a marble, it's a trial and outcome, and if we do it several times, it's an event, okay? All right, so that's events and likelihood of events, okay? We're going to talk about finding probability in the next video. I hope this was helpful. See you there. Bye.